Hello, Mike here with Mike Overlanding. Thank you for watching. Finally, I got a hold of a bed rack and tonneau cover combination that work. It was delivered yesterday. If you'd like to check out my one of my other videos where we did the unboxing, my son helped me with that. Um, but today's video is going to be about installing the bed rack and the coiling cover onto my Jeep Gladiator. The first step is to remove the trail rail system. I hate to do this, but it's the only way. The first step is to remove the trail rail system. And I've got a uh, 10 millimeter socket. It's about four or five bolts that connect it to the bed. The trail rail system is on the passenger side, the driver's side, and the front of the bed. So you've got to take all of them off. And I really am going to miss this system because I have put it to use. It has been really, really handy. Unfortunately, uh, when I put the or the uh, bed rack on and the coiling cover, I can't put this back on. So I'm gonna just have to sell this. It's in great shape. Um, and I know there's a market for them. After removing the bolts from the trail rails, the trail rails were still permanently affixed to the bed of the Jeep. So the next step is to take a pry bar and it was very easy to, to pry them off the rest of the way. This is a picture of halfway through prying them, one of them off. Okay, the uh, rail system to install the bed rack came in this box, and it happens to be the perfect size to put the trail rail system in here. So I'll have a nice place to store it and hopefully ship it if someone would like to buy it. Okay, now we begin installing the bed rack. We have these uh, channels, they call them, or, that we'll be attaching to the bed, and so far they've uh, labeled everything pretty pretty nicely. There's a baggie that says channel to truck, and all the hardware is here. Then I also have a baggie that has the rack to channel. So once I get these, uh, these channels on, it'll be a matter of putting the rack over it and then uh, tighten it down with these, uh, these bolts. And they also give you a little wrench to help uh, with these bolts. The rails went on fairly easily right here and we're supposed to leave them loose so that you can move them and then we'll tighten them up later. Uh, the toughest part was the corners over there near the front of the bed. A little difficult reaching my hand in there and, and getting those in, but otherwise uh, it, it fit pretty nicely. Oh, yeah. 
hands down. Oops. Great, looks awesome, huh? Yeah. Doesn't that look tough? Ah, yes. Now that we have the bed rack on, the next thing is to secure it to the bed. And there's these five bolts with the lock washer, a washer, and then the other side, there's a washer and a nut, and there's these vertical slats. So there's five on each side, one, two here, three, four, and five. So we're gonna do that to both sides. Okay, here we have the hardware. Got the uh, vertical slat here. You have to push up because we haven't permanently attached the other rail. It's, it's purposely let loose so that we can do this. I'm just gonna hand tighten them right now. There, and then we do it five times each side. We realize that the instructions actually call for four of these bolts per side. We've been provided with 10 bolts, so we assume that we needed to put one here, and we've since taken that out um, because we're, there's some vertical holes here, and it's, there's just four on each side that they're supposed to go into. So these are in loosely right now. We'll tighten them up in a, in a minute. Uh, the very next thing to do is to go underneath here and tighten this rack to the Jeep. We had it on there loosely. Now that we have the rack on top and attached here, we're gonna attach this uh, support bar here to the Jeep. I have hand tightened these. Now I use the ratchet to finish it off. Yeah, the manufacturer instructions on installing this are a YouTube video. So that's really handy. And of course they're available to call. And I will say, I get nothing. I paid full price for this. There's no, I'm not trying to market their product other than just give you a straight scoop. So far it's working out real well. Okay, the, uh, the rail is permanently attached to the Jeep. Now we're gonna tighten up these four on each side, eight uh, bolts, and I've got a 10 millimeter wrench and this Allen wrench that they came with. And we'll simply put this back here and tighten them up. And I'll do that for all eight. Okay, there we are. We are done. This thing is solid. It's on there really good. So bed rack is good to go. Okay, this is part two of the installation and we're gonna put this coiling cover on the bed. And this is the uh, coiling cover and uh, we'll get started. So what we've done is we've Place the canister far forward and it, it rests on the, uh, the rails here. And then we inserted the right and left side rail. It kind of just slides in so this can be, it's not fastened yet so it can be taken in and out. And then we took the coil out and we started feeding it through this uh, gap here that goes along here. And then we stopped it at its first uh, stopping port, first detent, and we're about to go on to the next uh, phase. So it's, it's, it's not permanently fastened yet, but it's um, uh, looking pretty good. Okay, the next step is to take this, well, it looks like it's made out of a seatbelt material. And we're gonna pull it forward. it locks. 
Then carefully close the tailgate just to see if it's nice and snug. Okay, then I'm gonna to go to the front and push this forward so it's as snug as it possibly can be against the, uh, the tailgate. Which it looks like it really is already. Man, I'm not seeing a lot of ability to move this. Okay, okay we were successful. We've got it all set up, but truth be told, we had some issues with connecting these uh, side rails to the Jeep. Um, we had to unwind things actually two times. We almost went back to square one and then put it back at the other again twice. And finally, we got it together. It's good. Uh, there are four spacers that are used, two on each side, and we were able to use the spacers on the back, but the front, there's no way, there's no way these will fit in there. So um, I think we've got it done right. And take a look at this. Looks good. So that's good. It's real close here. I don't feel like much to get in there. Air, but. Yeah, feeling really good. And close it. Open it. All right. Now we're going to take off the. Uh, tape here, the protector, and we've got a uh, board that goes across the top and we'll put that on. We are going to affix the canister lid to the front of the bed. And there's two holes here, and this one side has uh, brushed stuff, and that, that's the side that goes toward the back. I will point out that there is a great deal of extra hardware and weird things that we don't even know what they go to. There were instructions, but the instructions really talk about non-Jeep Gladiators. So I know the folks at uh, Nuthouse have uh, adapted this specially for the Gladiator. So instructions don't 100% uh, and there's all kinds, this is just some of the, uh, the extra hardware we have. So we're going to fix it with uh, four screws that were provided and uh, some screw caps that go on it. I'm going to put these screws in here to lock this down. It's in an awkward spot. Cap on. There we go. And we'll do that for four of them. Well, we just got back from a test drive, uh, my son and I, and we were gone for maybe 20 minutes. We did go on the highway and got her up to 70 miles an hour and hit some side streets, uh, turns. Works perfect. No more wind noise. I wasn't sure if we get wind noise from this, which is going is used to uh, hook up a uh, awning that is uh, has been ordered, and but it was solid. This is solid and works good. Uh, I'll have another video on the uh, some thoughts on it and features and benefits of it and why I chose this uh, um, cover. But uh, thanks for watching, and I hope this was uh, informative. And we had a lot of fun doing it, and it's a uh, real happy we got it. After our uh, test run, I did want to mention that we are 100% done. There is there are some tubing to be put in place to keep the uh, uh, the bed from getting wet. 
Uh, this does a good job. Right currently there's a gutter system and it dumps on each of the four corners. So uh, sometime later I'll install these tubes uh, right in here. Here's an example of one and drill a hole and uh, have it empty out. But I'm gonna wait to do that. And then I mentioned earlier that there's a lot of extra hardware. Again, because I think this is a generic product that can be used on other makes and models of trucks. So here's an example of some of the things that, that I have an idea what this would go to, but it, it certainly doesn't work with ours. So um, I, I guess it's nice that we have that because who knows, may trade it or sell it and, and someone else can use it. So, um, so other than that, uh, it's all done. <laughs>